Cancer, welcome back to Joy Unknowns. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a personal, the information is below. If you'd like to join members, just go on the page and click join. We're going to say a quick prayer, and then we're going to go ahead and get into it. So, Holy Spirit, please use me to guide Cancer on what's going on, what to expect, and what to look forward to. Please always keep them feeling safe, loved, and protected. Amen. It is currently 1 o'clock a.m., well, 1.01 a.m. portal energy, and today is October 14th of 2023. We are officially on the day of the eclipse, so I hope you guys are all safe, loved, and protected as always. Let's go ahead and just jump into the channel messages. I don't have many, and then we'll get into your reading, and I'll let you guys enjoy your weekend so first thing i'm getting is heavy gemini energy or the lovers card um you guys could be dealing with the gemini or the focus could be love for you getting sexual energy here extremely sexual energy actually and it's interesting because i was trying to do your channel messages and my pins kept running out so i have like literally four pins here i'm trying to write like a letter got rid of that one tried to write another letter Try to write another. So as I'm doing that, I started to see something else. I'm seeing it's like I'm seeing the pins as condoms. So I feel like if there's a lot of sexual energy here, it's like just something's back to back to back. I'm not sure. Just take it how it resonates. I'm also seeing um, you and somebody on one accord as far as sexual energy goes. And then my shirt, it says, ill David. So I'm seeing you get to a point where it's like, okay, too far, safe word, ill David, like, yeah. So we're gonna actually look up what this means. It's from the show Shit's Creek, which I never really watched, but something told me to buy this shirt a couple weeks ago. So um, I did, but we can look that up together. I typically like to do that instead. Moving forward, I'm hearing something about a beehive. I'm seeing a group of people work together towards a common goal. Or this could also be you realizing that you don't have much in common mentally with the masses. Yeah, so either or for that. I'm hearing the name Imani. Your name could start with a Z. I'm hearing the name Roy or something about a return on your investments. I'm hearing the name India or that could be the location. And I'm hearing the name Tara, T-A-R-A, which makes me think of like Barea. That's homework in Spanish. Um, I'm hearing Monster Patrol. I feel like that's your guides. You're protected while you're sleeping. You're protected during this eclipse. If that's something that you're worried about, you have truth here. Also, some of you, you could be a designer of some kind. I'm hearing Aztec. This could be, you know, your background. Be careful if you're not feeling well. I'm seeing somebody pass out at a public place, specifically a grocery store. So don't push yourself. If you get to a point where you're not feeling too good today, just like go home, take a chill pill, relax. Don't force it, because if you do, um, I'm just seeing somebody's body shut down. Also, go back in your camera roll. Something about April 8th could be coming full circle. Yeah, compassion here. Cancer, cancer energy. Last message on this side. In three hours and 30 minutes, for some of you, you may run into somebody that you went to high school with. Somebody's name could start with a K. I'm hearing the initials KR, yeah, somebody that you haven't seen in a very long time, three, four, five. But this person over the next six to seven months, it's gonna come full circle where you're gonna get some type of job opportunity or um, invitation from that same person that you run into or hear from today. So set an alarm for three hours and 30 minutes. You should know who or what this is by then. Uh, something about Atlanta could be significant. Um, there's a couple readings that I feel like are relevant for you. The Pisces, rose-colored glasses are off. Aries, 2.25 p.m., reconciliations, apologies. I feel like that's going to be for you on October 26th. And then the Cancer reading um, about the story of Shahedazad, the 1001 stories. I believe it's the Cancer reading called You Are the Exception, something about 9.42 p.m. Those three readings I'll put in the description box below, or I can just put them at the very end when those videos pop up. Also, if you're about to get your nails done, I'm seeing nude pink. Also, I'm seeing a man get hit by a car on a bike, so just be careful. I'm also seeing something about crossfire or shooting, so be extremely careful today. Like, don't 
go to uncharted territories not now is not the day to like explore i'm hearing new neighborhoods new areas just try to stay cool calm and collected all right let's go ahead and get into it but first let's look up Shit's creek and what's that all about what does ill david mean Okay. <clears throat> okay, so Shit's Creek summary. After being a victim of fraud, Johnny Rose and his family go from extremely wealthy to penniless overnight. The only asset left to them is a small, unsophisticated town called Shit's Creek. They relocate there and culture shock ensues. Okay, so I guess it's all about this family's new life. It's 106 on the time and all of this just reminded me of last week I came across these two books from the series I loved, um, The Bold Aware Children series of unfortunate events. I found book one and book six together and it's 106 and the first book is called The Bad Beginning. The second book is called Airsats Elevator. Now I don't remember too too much about the details of these books but it's 106, one is one, one is six and we're talking about the summary of this like a bad beginning happening and then so what I was going to say if there is a situation that may seem like you're going backwards at first I feel like this is only for you to understand something a little bit deeper you may want to go watch your cancer reading it's called Stranger Things it was all about an elevator an elevator shaft we were talking about that movie Devil Capricorn energy which takes place on an elevator so um how overnight they were penniless you see this bad beginning how they're orphans they went from overnight their parents house burned down and they became quote-unquote penniless as well so something starts off bad but it's only so you're able to get a deeper understanding of something a deeper meaning of something and if i'm not mistaken if you look at the very top that door in front of the elevator shaft to me kind of reminds me of like the libra reading that we've been talking about what's behind the red door so you may want to look at those two but let's see let's get into this anything else i want to see what ill david means huh? okay the website it's called we got this cover ill david meaning and origin where did ill david come from um okay here it is the catchphrase ill david originated from the canadian sitcom schitt's creek which aired on cv okay cbc television from 2015 to 2020 the series consisted of an overall of 80 episodes across six seasons the catchphrase ill david was famously uttered by alexis played by annie murphy i'm hearing something about murphy's law who is David's sister after he said the phrase, everyone's trying to get their greasy hands on their cheese in the fifth episode of the fourth season? Weirdly enough, the catchphrase ill David was only said twice in the same episode, though Alexis does say ill a lot. The phrase ill David was made famous and doubled down into people's minds when merchandise such as t-shirts and mugs became available with the same phrase printed on them. Okay, okay. So something about siblings could be significant here. Everyone's trying to get their greasy hands on their cheese. Ew, I hate cheese. What does that mean? The name Alexis could be significant. They could get there. They could be trying to get their greasy hands on <laughs> your cheese or your, you could be Alexis and vice versa. Just take it how it resonates. I just want to put this in Google and see if it has any explanations. Okay, it ruins Alexis's appetite and causes a resigned ill David as she puts the pieces together of who the farmer is. Something about Halloween could be significant. All right, so let's get into it. 
Ooh, traveler. Yeah, some of you may be forced to go elsewhere unexpectedly. You may have had other plans, you know, but it's for a reason. So just trust in that, the moon. Even if you're not able to see it at the time, for some of you, this may happen around December. You just have to trust it. Some of you may have to go take care of somebody last minute or all of a sudden, but just trust in whatever happens. Um, shuffle for cancer. Yeah, the moon's still here. Maybe there's a lot hidden from you at this time and you're gonna have to go back to somewhere in order for you to get the rest of the information that you need. Um, and yeah, even her sliding down the elevator shaft, that's all about getting down to the depths of something. So take note of your intuitive messages at this time, unlocking the magic within, all right? Double for Cancer. Yeah, so your guides are orchestrating something here. You have guardian angel and you have a water guardian. So just know you're protected or something is for your own protection. Some travel could be for your own protection. You know, maybe where you currently are won't be safe at the time in which you're having to go handle something else. You know, so in hindsight, you're going to be able to see like, oh, if I were still in that area, so on and so forth. But you'll see. I'm hearing something about the timing, Sagittarius season. So the end of November going into December, just expect a shakeup or a change of plans. I'm hearing immediately. I'm seeing sprinklers, sprinklers, indoor sprinklers. Yeah, maybe you're in denial about the fact that you need to be somewhere else or something or somewhere is it's like something that you started or maybe what if this is a relationship, if this is a home, if this is an air area, I almost said era. It could be an area or era that began in 2019. You could be in denial that you've outgrown something or you need to move on from something, but I feel like um, Spirit's gonna make that very apparent to you. Very apparent to you. What's today? The next five to six days, you're gonna get a clue about this. Yeah, you have seven, six, five, Hearing four, three, two, you're gonna be moving. You're gonna have to move. Whether it's planned or not, you're gonna have to move. Yeah. But like I said, at the end of the journey, you'll understand why. And it's not forever, it's for your protection. With self-destruction here, there's a lot that you can't see or there's a lot that's gonna be going on at that time of the year. So yeah, you we'll see, we'll see. It's a couple months away. Um, I'm hearing danger, watch yourself, danger, yeah, shuffle for cancer. You may have concern, the first card out, keys, keys open doors to homes or new places so yeah you're getting like a new set of keys no oh my god i cannot make this up on the bottom of the deck you have zombies on top of the deck you have being chased or attacked so i guess it's about that time to mention this so you guys a couple days before the war started I posted a whole video about this on members before the war started, told them about my whole dream, but it was my first video back in a while and I kept taking all these pauses in the reading and I was like, nah, 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 they deserve something that's like more cohesive, they deserve something that's a little bit more fast paced. I deleted it, should have made it private. I was talking about hearing sirens. Let me just tell you guys about this dream, hold on. It was so, so, so crazy, I believe I had it on... Let me see. I want to say the seventh. Is this it? Wait. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. 
one second. Let me just type in to make sure no other dreams come out. No, okay, I had this dream on October 2nd. And I, it says dream zombies were coming and I was packing up the car for me and Yoshi. Um, so many people were being loud and trying to make us be quiet. Also, it was weird because like an ex of mine kept calling me and they're married and I don't know why they kept calling me and they kept like updating me while I'm trying to figure out and sort out all this stuff. And I'm like, this is so irrelevant to what's going on. And also, I remember there was something about the FBI. They were like keeping track of stuff. I was walking through the bottom of this mountain or the bottom of this terrain. And I remember we were like walking with a whole group of people. And then there came a point where we all had to like stop and like be quiet. And I remember putting my dog's leash on him, which he never has his leash off. So that was kind of weird too. Um, I remember I could only bring like my, I chose to only bring Yoshi and all my decks. That's the only thing I packed into the car. Um, oh, my mom kept saying that we had to go to Texas and she kept trying to get me to get my dad on the phone, something about we needed to get to. So, okay, yeah. And this was all, this all took place before um, everything started happening overseas, you know, but that dream was so, so eerie. I remember, um, I think I probably made a voice note about it too. There were more details, but you have being chased or attacked and you have zombies here. So pay attention to your dreams at this time because me having to up and leave all of a sudden i could only bring like what was most important to me and then keys here so that abrupt energy of having to up and leave everything behind go somewhere else you know or very, take very limited things with you i'm hearing only what you could fit in your car only like a carry-on you know so there's something abrupt about this change about this move shovel for cancer Entering a door, you can't. Entering a door and you have money. So go watch the last Libra reading to see what's behind the red door. I would go watch the last two Libra readings. I'll just put them all in the description box below. But trust, trust, trust what happens at this time. You're just being led to what you asked for. Not in a way that you thought it would happen, but in a way to where you're gonna be safe and get what it is that you want and get what it is that you need as well. And that's gonna be what's most important. Shovel for Cancer. Yeah, it's like it's like uh, something happens all of a sudden. I'm also getting like a merging, like something about the past life and this life merging. I'm seeing, um, you know how whales die, they explode. I'm seeing something that was like very dormant, very stagnant, just all of a sudden, boom. And then you have fruition, abundance here. So a lot of you, this is taking place within your career. A lot of you, you may have something that happens to somebody or somebody gets another position, whatever, an emergency in another location and they need you to go fill that role ASAP. But whatever it is, I promise you, trust it. And I feel like by Pisces season, it's gonna make so much sense. Before then, for sure, but like, yeah, by Pisces season you will have been able to like put all every single piece of the puzzle together you know yeah beautiful um let me see let's move forward entering a door just fell into my lap <clears throat> and you have abandoned places saying Aquarius, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the world. Shuffle for Cancer. An air sign could be the elixir for this. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Uh-uh, wait a second.
I'm trying, I'm gonna leave those here. We'll go back to that. Let me see what comes out to support that. That's odd. Shuffle for Cancer. <sighs> Wait a second. First things first, I'm seeing sexual harassment at work. Um, hold on. You could be dealing with the Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, something about the next eight days. What's today? The 22nd could be significant. So I'm seeing a couple things. Um, this could be what you're coming out of. This won't be for everybody. For some people or somewhere, whether you worked in corporate, whether you worked in something where it's a little bit more, I'm hearing loosey goosey, like a bar or like, I don't know. I'm seeing a situation where like at your place of work, what you're coming out of with the Prince of Wands and the Seven of Wands, whether these are the patrons, the people that you work with, I just see like a lot of sexual inappropriate borderline um, miscon misconduct type energy here. I'm seeing someone constantly like be like if there's like a crowded restaurant or bar or pub, it's like you're constantly like being groped and touched like, oh, excuse me, ma'am. Oh, excuse me. Like, you know, just all of this. I'm also seeing to where it's like maybe somebody offers you an opportunity. This is what came out the first time where I was like, oh, hell no. Like, what is this? So you see. It's like, this is how you're approached with something, but you see how the snake, it's like, you should get involved in this. But once you get involved, you see how now the snake's going towards like the genitalia here. And it's like, whoops, like, oh, like, you know, you may have a boss, Aquarius energy here. And it's like, everything starts off one way. And then like, once they get you kind of signed on, on board, the relationship, the dynamic starts changing. And I see them trying to like, I'm 22, 22. I'm literally seeing someone like slither up your leg. I had a dream about this. Hold on. I had a dream about this. One, two, three on the time. That man with the lizard tongue. Hold on. Yeah. September 13th, 2023, I had a dream that a guy like invited me somewhere. It was supposed to be a business meeting. It was supposed to be a business meeting, right? I got there, there were like other people there. It was a club type setting. I thought it was supposed to be like a cafe or somewhere, but when we got in there, it wasn't anything like that. And there were these like four chairs surrounding like a table and he had these two other girls already sitting there and i was like well, it's really weird to bring a date to a business meeting but like i digress and i had like my uh my notepad with me my laptop with me and i was like i'm still trying to like get work done and i was like looking down writing something and then when i <laughs> when i looked up one of the girls and like the guy that invited me he was like bending down in front of her and he like his tongue was like moving like a lizard, like a snake, like hybrid type energy. And he was like looking at me, but he was just like moving up her legs. It was so eerie. And I just like grabbed my stuff and left. So I'm seeing this for you. Maybe I had that dream for you guys. And the person in my dream looked like an Aquarius that I knew. It wasn't them, but it looked like an Aquarius. So that gave me, you know, the energy of Aquarius here. So be careful of that. Be careful of that. Um, I'm also hearing like, if you see something, say something, but what you're moving into is the complete opposite of that. You know, you're going to be free from this energy. Uh, yeah, five of swords, six of swords. That's going to be a thing of the past seven of wands. You may even go as far as now that you don't have to deal with this because you've entered a new door. You may try to like have karma or like get this place shut down like say this is something underground and you know there's a bunch of illegal shit happening it's like now that you're in a different situation it's giving snitch it's giving snitch not gonna lie 
um but i see it's like you're like fuck it you know and you call the cops and you're like they're doing this 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 you know so all that backfires but it's like you're already out you're already protected from it hermit so okay yeah prince of wands princess of wands and the nine of cups with the moon so there's a lot that you can't see but i'm seeing nine 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 here you're moving into a new commitment for sure one where you're totally and completely happy you know Mm-hmm. This looks like knitting. Go watch the last Libra reading. Or what did we just do? Leo? Leo reading? Interesting, Cancer. Interesting. Yeah, the lovers here. It may be ill, David. Like if your boss try to come on to you and you're like, ill, David something it's something inappropriate very inappropriate I, I keep seeing like i can't shake the bar i'm seeing a strip club i'm seeing nightlife nightlife yeah higher font here and the high priestess there's a metamorphosis happening for you guys shovel for cancer see things magically shifting around Maybe this is something that you're dealing with. And then, like I said, in three hours and 30 minutes, somebody hits you up from your past and they're like, hey, like, if you know anybody looking for somebody who can come do this, like we have a position open and then you're able to go do that. It's perfect timing. It's perfect timing. Yeah, something's developing. Look at all the stages. And it's like you're in the middle of a stage, so you're not able to quite see the full extent but just know you're about to be fully submerged in something else okay shovel for cancer seeing somebody leap off a diving board oh nice very stable what's leaving oh things moving slow all that slow and steady wins the race energy that's leaving and now you have the queen of so you're moving out of the knight of coins straight into the queen of coins so i'm also getting like the position that you've been working for you're no longer going to be working for it. you're going to have it here so this is all about promotions as well but just know emotional fulfillment is here shedding of old skin completely is here you're stepping into a new paradigm a brand new dynamic and this is justice for you the chariot's going to move really fast i also feel like this has to do with your childhood dreams with the ace of swords here king of swords you're going to be feeling so accomplished um i'm seeing somebody's work on a wall shuffle for cancer it's something about people seeing your work i see your work on display Oh, you're about to, you're activated. This is an activation. Let me go. I'll wait on that. I'll remember. Shuffle for Cancer. Your card, the moon. The... All these. Okay. Okay. You have seven nine seven nine seven nine nine. This is the activation wheel of fortune, the magician, the moon, and the chariot. So, okay, what this is activating is your Capricorn energy, and like I said, like I said, it's almost like if you were in that position how we were talking about before where you've been taken advantage of where you've been harassed like you know hopefully not hopefully not where you feel like the line has been blurred when it comes to what you're comfortable with versus like um, what you're putting up with and accepting that's all about to change and that capricorn energy comes into like play when you realize how not for all of you but for some of you you may have been a scapegoat in a situation so you kind of calling and giving karma back to what hurt you or what put you in a bad position that's just that capricorn energy activating you know things balancing themselves out so whatever you feel compelled to do at this time you know i feel like it's warranted you probably have a reason for why but yeah just know there's going to be a reversal 
I keep hearing Capricorn. Yeah. Maybe this... Yeah, it's like this kind of thing kept happening to where you would activate your own Capricorn energy and stand up for yourself. Like I'm seeing somebody all day, how we're talking about like people, excuse me, ma'am, excuse me, ma'am, excuse me, ma'am. And then it's like, finally, you just had enough and you like say what you need to say, whether you yell, you go off, like whatever. You needed to do that. Like you needed to stand up for yourself. How long are you gonna just like be shoved around and touch any kind of way, you know? So that's something too, hangman. It's like spirit was waiting for you to realize that, see that you deserve more, you deserve better, you deserve respect. Yeah, but whatever it is, it's about to be fixed. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I'm also seeing like something about giving people what they deserve. I'm also seeing you learn like how to match energy. I'm seeing somebody that was like trained or like conditioned into, oh, the customer's always right. The customer's always right. Take any, to get slapped around because the customer's always right, you know? I feel like you're, yeah, five of wands there. It's like you're finding a way or you're learning how to match energy not to where you're bringing yourself down to meet somebody's low ass frequency no but it's like you're not over seeing chick-fil-a workers you're not over extending yourself when the same respect isn't being given to you you know so you're learning how to conserve your energy in that way i'm seeing when soldiers stand like this so the heat that it goes out of their fingertips goes back into their body so something like that you're learning how not to exert so much of your positive energy and kind of conserve and utilize and match frequency you know so Yeah, I'm seeing Leo Sag Aries masculine. That could have been your boss or like that weird gropey person. But yeah, you're moving on from all of that unbeknownst to you. You have death and transformation here with the seven of coins and the queen of clubs. Hold on. Queen of clubs. And we keep seeing something about a club. Your queen of club days are over. There's a change when it comes to that dynamic. I feel like if that has been the type of lifestyle you've been in, it's gonna be like, if you've been working at night, you're gonna be working during the day. You know, if you've been living the night life, you're gonna be living like the day life, I'm hearing. For some of you, if you've been in a relationship with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, masculine energy, who's been keeping you in some sort of illusion, you'll be walking out of that into something that you're not able to see yet but you'll know what that part is you'll know what that is in four days mm -hmm. let's see what fell into my lap yeah you've you've um you've had it when it comes to how you've been able to cope with something you've had it when it comes to how you've been biting your tongue you've just had it and i feel like if you Push yourself in a certain environment, ten of swords, you're going to snap. 33, 33, I believe, when we pulled the, twin, the ten of swords. I almost said twin of swords, something about Gemini energy. I'm also seeing, like, my mom never sees this because i really wasn't around, allowed to watch this show just at other people's houses sometimes i would see certain things but i remember this episode of spongebob where i think plankton was like in control of spongebob's mind and he was like operating him i'm seeing there's like something inside of you that's been what it's kind of giving me get out energy too you know how he was like lost in his own consciousness there's like a part of you stuck in there that's been watching how you've been treated and i see that part of you just kind of like taking control and like getting your karma i'm hearing avenged 
avenge something being avenged but yeah that ten of Sur the ten of swords goes to ten of wands so if you feel different if you feel um more in your earth energy than your water energy i feel like that's naturally something's like binding or something's joining i'm hearing joining forces but i just feel like it's your yin and your yang shuffle for cancer and i also feel like you're just learning how to take care of you better it's like you're just getting to know this earth energy and i'm seeing it's like when a little small lion tries to roar but he just like meows you know it's like you're just in the very beginning of your quote unquote devil energy you're learning if you will high priestess but it's like you have to have the dark to protect yourself so you don't end up in situations like this you have to know when to you you know because if you're just all open, all love, all mother trying to nurture everything, you're going to get taken advantage of. And I feel like whatever this was that's wrapping up was just you understanding that so you don't get back in a cycle like that, get back in a job like that, get back in a place or a location like that ever again. Now that you know better, you can do better. Shuffle for cancer. And the air of confusion in this message, I feel like it's the same when you were walking into this. Like, yeah, Knight of Cups and the Magician, I feel like something was sold to be one thing. But then it's like not until you get involved, you realize that it's another thing. And you're ending with the one six. Once again, just like the book, the bad beginning and then the elevator. So all of this is going to be for something. Whether it's you having to move suddenly, which I'm getting that for a lot of you, Sagittarius season. Whether this is you having to like endure a horrible job for a while. Maybe you, maybe you're meant to see, you know, how things get down over there. So you're able to help people that are stuck. Like I'm seeing you go literally rescue people down here, you know. But it's like had this bad beginning never happened, then you would have never been in this shaft to go down there and get those people. So whatever it is, just know it's all going to you're going to see the bigger picture. You're going to see the bigger picture. And I apologize if this is a bit abstract. I feel like it'll make a lot more sense later. But um, I do feel like it's valid and necessary. You have a fool here. So I'm going to get it to you. Death and transformation. But God bless cancer. Thank you for being here. Um, I wish you the best as you're closing out these particular cycles. And I wish you all the luck going into these new ones because you deserve it. Um, I look forward to hearing how this resonates. I will see you later. Take care.